guys, Shaver 1000 here. We're going to try to get this started up. It should start up okay, hopefully. Uh, but this is what we're going to do right now. We got our mom and dad's golf cart out here. We got their lawnmower out here. Battery's dead on it and it's out of gas. I'm going to have to... Needs cleaned out too. Just a one blade little craftsman, 10 horsepower. Uh, what is that? Briggs and Stratton. Um, so there's that. We also got. Oh, I got a big mess in here. <laughs> I gotta get this situated because we got the toolbox in here. So big stainless steel. I thought it was aluminum, but it's stainless and it's packed pretty much full of tools. She's got the keys. She locked it up. We had the. Uh, tow truck driver bring all this stuff out for us um, mine is gonna this is gonna be moved I'm gonna set mine right here this one I'll once I clean it out I'm gonna sell it but yeah that thing is huge but it rolls nice so anyway I'm gonna clean that up and uh, I'll show you some before and after uh, this I got it on the charger the battery's dead it's got some low tires on it uh, I think I made a video on that once, but this thing, it's pull start and electric start. It is also gasoline or propane, so, and it looks like that was off. It looks like it was on, so I don't know. Hmm, not a good sign. Well, let's crank it and see, let's see if it's got juice first. Okay, it's got juice. All right. I don't know if it's got an automatic choke on it. Okay, now, here's the choke. Right here. That's open. That's closed. Let's crank it over. pretty cool uh, I like that it has you know propane or gasoline so that's awesome uh, I think we're gonna hang on to this because um, well it ran their whole house which I don't know you guys have probably seen some videos I did in the house uh, it's bigger than this it's bigger than our house but it would run the whole house um, so obviously where the plug is for it that he used because normally you plug these into you shut your main breaker off for for the outside power and then you plug them into your where your dryer plugs in at but it would run their whole house so um that's good i thought maybe you know we might have to tinker with the carburetor because i don't know how long that gasoline's been in there but okay well let me get the jump box out here and I'm going to put a little gas in here and we'll start this up and uh, make sure it's going to run all right. I'll put some air in the tires. But uh, so let me go get, let me go get the uh, jump box. All right, so I keep calling that a jump box. It's a charger, but it, it does have the starter. You can put it up on 200 amps, so. Um, yeah, see, it's got a leak in it, so I didn't put a lot of, a lot of fuel in it looks like it might just be a line right there but let's see if we can get it started okay so I'll just set you here we'll see if we can start it up
this in it. Might need a spark plug. I got some that fuel line bad. I think I got one. We'll do a separate video on fixing that fuel line. Yeah, Bruno heard this thing start up. So there's that. Yep, he's got to check it out. So, yeah. There's that. Now I'm going to put the charger. I'm going to put that back on the charger. See if we can get them batteries to, to charge. Um, that'll flip up. So, but they're deader than hell right now. So, anyway, there's the horn, but. We'll just have to check it out, see what's going on with it. Got a stereo. This thing's for sale. So, and that thing's for sale. I think we're going to hold on to this for a little bit because her hurricane season's coming up. So, I'll uh, check the oil, see what it looks like. I don't know if he's ever changed it. Um, that thing, I'll do the same thing. I'll check it all out and put some air in the tires. Uh, they're all low. This one's pretty much off the bead. Yeah, it's off the bead, so I'll have to get it up here, shoot some air in it, jacked up or something, shoot some air in it. All right, guys, so there you go. Just a quick update on what's happening around here. So two out of the three things run. Ain't that right, Bruce? Ain't that right, buddy? I'll take you for a ride once ba when the batteries get charged, okay? Yeah, this thing's got turn signals, headlights, tail lights, brake lights. It's all set up. I don't know why he's got a Garmin on here. I don't know how far you'd have to, I mean, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, all right. Then we'll get this cleaned up, and I mean, it's not in the greatest of shape, but, you know. That's a $1,200 golf cart. I like the Krager Max. <laughs> So it's getting hot out here. We had some tropical rains last night. Well, about four o'clock this morning, it was pouring down rain. I had them again this morning, right before these got here. Now it's hotter than hell, but it's supposed to rain the rest of the week and all weekend. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna get into. I'll probably be working in the garage if I can, cause I gotta take some of that stuff out. I don't want it to get wet, so. All right, guys, just a little update what's happening. And, uh, I'll fast forward the clip of unloading this stuff, all right? So, Shea Bear, the Myth the Man Ledge. I'm gone for now. Enjoy the rest of your week and have a great weekend coming up. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.